Hello and welcome, I'm Doug Deese with Sign Tracker Technologies. Today we're in Gaithersburg, Maryland at the home of Top to Bottom Services, the owner of Real Estate Sign Tracker, their sign installation subsidiary company. If you're watching this video, you've already accomplished your initial lessons on marketing, operations, creating users and inventory in Sign Tracker, and now we're going to see how it actually works. We're going to see how an operation like this runs. Uh, REST has eight installers or nine installers, depending on the load. They've got uh, eight or nine trucks in, in the field operating. There's a service manager, we'll meet him. Also, a warehouse manager, we'll meet that person as well. But you'll get a good feel for what it's like to run a business that's installing between 1,000 and 1,200 signs per month. Thanks, Doug. I really appreciate the introduction. We've been using Sign Tracker Technologies now for several years, and there's a number of reasons, probably too many to list, of why I actually really enjoy it. But the ones that I know the business owners are going to like to know is A, it monitors all your inventory real time. So if the agents give you a call and they want to know where their panels are, you can just direct them back to the website. It tells them exactly how many they have of the riders, their panels, everything they need to know in their inventory. The end user also loves the fact that I get to send them an email whenever they put the order in or they put a request to removal or even the sign service, they'll get a notification that we're aware of it. It really cut down on the calls coming into my office and allowed those people to actually do things that were more revenue generating instead of spending time just talking to people on the telephone. What I also like about it is on the accounting side it is that the software actually creates the invoice for me so when a new installation comes in. All I have to do is say export from Sign Tracker, import into QuickBooks, and it creates all my invoices for all my billing in one click. It's so easy. It's unbelievable. It's really changed the way I do business. And now I can actually spend more time growing it instead of running in it. Back to you, Doug. So we're going to stop in the office of Kieran Manta, who is the Sign Services Manager for REST. Sign this is Karen. Okay, I'll help you. Karen manages the trucks, vehicles, all aspects of the business that would include employment, payroll, uh, hiring, firing, even customer complaints when those come up. We're going to meet Pedro Garcia, who is the sign operations manager. Now, the sign operations manager, in the context of REST, primarily manages the inventory of the operations, include the customer panels, customer riders, posts, which are both wood and vinyl, depending on the installation. Uh, basically, the day-to-day the -day operations of the warehouse in support of the rest of the sign technicians in the field. We're entering one of the sign storage areas here at REST. This particular area, it's pretty compact as you can see, it stores about 3,000 signs. We've got about another 3,000 in the area in the back of the warehouse, we'll visit that, as well as a few other areas within the building here. The signs are organized using the stickers we provided to you. The shelves are organized in a very deliberate way. The lowermost shelf is shelf one. Next one up is two, three, and then four. This helps you expand the storage upward if you need to do that. The shelves then, as you would identify a sign in uh, your work order, would be, say, B203. That's shelf unit B, row 2, slot 3. You also notice that the inventory stickers that we provide to you to identify the individual unique panels of your customers are situated on the panels and riders in a very deliberate way. They're all consistently put in the same upper left corner most of the time, or if it's a larger panel, upper right in such a way that you can leaf through the panels and easily and quickly identify the material you want to pull according to the work order that Sign Tracker provides. This particular area is the photo area where the images of the individual customer panels are recorded. What's helpful in this area is to set up a low-cost camera which has USB power and a USB cable. This enables us to leave the camera in position, we don't have to keep setting it up or taking it down, and images as we're taking them are communicated directly to the computer Having a quality image really serves to impress your clients and make them really feel like they're seeing the specific inventory they're looking for. We're going to be stopping in the warehouse arrest, which is the latest in the history of the development of the rest business. The original storage was actually in the owner's garage, which you may be doing as well. And now we're in this location here. It's about 3,000 square feet overall, which includes uh, you know, full-size pallet racks 
Wooden posts typically are stored on their sides, and we've experimented with this in many ways, tried hanging them, different things, but wood posts are safest and most easily stacked on their sides. Uh, if you're using vinyl posts, PVC posts, those can often be stored on their ends or on the sides or even with hangers. Lots of different ways to accomplish storage of those. We're going to take a look next at the vehicles that the REST technicians use in the field. REST happens to use Toyota Tacoma pickup trucks, which have proven in his situation to be extremely reliable. Each truck is outfit in a standard way with all the components that are necessary for the field technician. The truck will have a toolbox typically mounted on the side, which includes the sorts of hand tools you'll need to do field installations, field repairs, screwdrivers, wrenches, and other things. If you're using wood posts primarily, the toolbox also will contain black paint, white paint, yellow paint to refresh posts as they're pulled from one installation and reinstalled in another location. The truck also has a sign bin, it's broken into two parts, a narrower section for riders and a wider section for the main panels. You also see the truck has got along the rear tailgate a large PVC tube, which is quite strong, uh, set on some custom fabricated blocks. This provides a fulcrum for the sign post to rest in the back of the vehicle. An average Toyota Tacoma pickup truck can handle about uh, 10 to 12 wooden posts, many more PVC posts if that's what you're using. You notice in the case of REST that the vehicles are actually labeled with the uh, nomenclature, logo, etc. of the parent company, Top to Bottom Services. In this particular case, REST is operating as a almost a marketing arm of the inspection business. Now, if you're operating a sign business, your trucks will be lettered, of course, primarily with your sign logo and your sign business details. If you're running another business, such as a landscaping business, you can use your trucks to promote whatever your primary business is if it's not a sign business. We hope this walkthrough has been informative and helped encourage you to see where you can take your business. If you have any questions on Sign Tracker or some of the things you've seen in this video, you're welcome to message myself or any of the staff here at Sign Tracker. You may not know, but we have licensees not only uh, here in Washington, D.C., but also in beautiful and sunny Florida, as far north as the great white north of Canada. Throughout the heartland of the United States, from Utah, Colorado, Texas, Indiana, Kansas City, Arkansas, the Carolinas, and Virginia, all the way out to the beautiful islands of Hawaii. So thank you for joining the Sign Tracker family. We're looking forward to helping you bring Sign Tracker to a new area. Throughout the... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> to you, the serial number stickers are pushing up. <laughs> You'll notice that the truck is a compact pickup. It's a Toyota uh, Tacoma. They all drive Tacoma... I can't say Tacoma. Dakota. Dakota. Toyota Tacoma. Okay. You'll use those trucks to promote your primary business as well. Primark. Huh? Virginia, Indiana, Chicago, that's a state, that's a city, sorry, there to go.